do you find this video fascinating? You might be thinking that this video was captured by some giant camera specially made for space, right? But you will be surprised to know that this footage was actually captured by Nikon's consumer grade camera. Most of the space videos we see today were mostly captured by cameras that are well known to us and made by manufacturers that are also popular in the consumer camera market. Even you might be unknowingly carrying a camera that was also used in space missions. So if you have ever wondered what cameras were used in space missions and which camera took the first human step on the moon, then this video is for you. With that said, let's jump right in. First, let's start with Hasselblad. Hasselblad has a long story with space missions, or you can say Hasselblad is a truly dedicated space camera manufacturer. The earliest space missions are deeply connected with this imaging company. NASA was in search of a more delicate yet effective camera for its upcoming space missions. Walter Skira, an astronaut at NASA and a Hasselblad admirer, suggested NASA about the Hasselblad cameras as they were of great quality. It was the high quality of Hasselblad 500C camera which led Shira to recommend Hasselblads to NASA for photography in space. NASA was also convinced about the performance of the 500C camera. Hasselblad was able to perform a formal business relationship with NASA in 1962. After that, Hasselblad was given the responsibility to make a tailored 500C camera. Basically, the goal was to cut any excess weight. So Hasselblad got rid of the auxiliary shutter, reflex mirror, leather covering, and viewfinder from the 500C camera. And finally, when it was ready for space, the Mercury 8 was the first mission to use this camera. Astronaut Wally Skira captured high-quality images around the Earth with this camera as part of the Mercury 8 mission. And that's how Hasselblad became the first camera to travel space. During the Gemini 4 mission in 1965, Hasselblad also got a reputation for being the first to capture a spacewalk. The first moon landing images were captured with a Hasselblad camera during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, making it one of Hasselblad's most historic moments. A silver Hasselblad data camera or HDC was attached to the chest of astronaut Armstrong. To reduce weight and make the mission faster, the camera was left on the surface of the moon after capturing the first human step there and only the camera films were brought to Earth. And therefore, Hasselblad gained fame by being the first camera to capture human history's most significant event, the first lunar landing. Next, we are going to discuss Nikon's endeavor in space. Nikon started working in space in 1971 when Nikon came up with a custom-made Nikon Photomic FDN camera for NASA. This camera and Nikkor lens was used in the Apollo 15 space mission. Apart from that, six Nikon D2XS cameras were delivered to NASA in 2008 for documenting space inspection and maintenance. Then in 1999, Nikon's F5 camera along with AF Nikkor lens traveled to the Space Shuttle Discovery for the purpose of capturing images of extravehicular activities. Not only cameras, but also Nikkor lenses played a vital role in space missions. Have you heard of the International Space Station or the ISS? It is the largest orbiting space laboratory for testing spacecraft systems and equipment. Nikon supplied a total of 65 Nikon lenses in 2013 for the ISS. The shipment included super telephoto lenses like the FS Nikkor 800mm f5.6. The main purpose was to observe solar panels as well as outer surfaces of the ISS. Alongside, 38 Nikon D4 cameras were also delivered to NASA. These cameras and lenses are still continuing to capture breathtaking videos of space as well as the Earth from miles away. Moving on, let's take a closer look at Canon's participation in space. Just like the consumer camera market, Canon is also a step forward from all other camera manufacturers when it comes to space. Not only the camera, but Canon also sent a micro satellite to the space with Canon's in-house camera mounted on it. And Canon already had the technology needed for a micro satellite. For controlling the satellite's altitude, Canon already had the motor technology. For insane zooming and sharp images, Canon had lens technology including zoom to macro. Canon launched this project in 2017. It carried a slightly modified Canon 5D Mark III. Now, Canon has a range of space images taken by its EOS 
and PowerShot cameras. Now let's talk about Sony's contribution to space. The Sony A7S II was selected as the camera for the new outboard camera system on the International Space Station for its higher sensitivity. The project started in 2014 and Sony puts its full effort into making a camera suitable for the harsh outer space environment. Moreover, the camera was selected for the exposed space full of radiation and heat. Sony was able to deliver a custom-made A7S II to NASA and it left the Earth on December 9, 2016. And that was successfully mounted on the outer part of the International Space Station on 8 February 2017 so that it could send 4K videos of the surroundings of ISS. And the video looks just stunning. So that's all about the cameras that took part in the most historic moments in space. We are deeply thankful to those cameras for introducing us to space, letting us see beyond the Earth. Camera manufacturers are now more concentrated on the development of cameras for outer space as the demand is growing more and more. So what innovations would you like to see in space cameras in the future? Let us know in the comment section.